Greetings everyone, my name's Sarah and today we are going to do a full moon meditation ASMR. So, full moon can be celebrated 24 hours up to the event, the day of the event, and the day after the event, even though the moon is slightly on the wane, if you have ritual to do, or healing, or spell work, you can still harness the energies of full moon. So, I'd like to begin. So first of all, let's ground. I'm just going to put my hands on your shoulders and I want you to imagine the roots of a tree growing out of your feet, down through the floor and into the earth below you. They grow down and down and down through the soil and past the rocks, down through the subsoil until they reach their tendrils into the mineral pores in the center of the earth. And they instinctively know which minerals and crystalline energies that your body needs and they drink those energies up. So I just want you to feel or imagine that you can feel the energies being drawn up your root system back up into your feet and up your legs into your base chakra which is a red color right at the base of your spine and then up to the sacral chakra just below your belly button and then up to the solar plexus chakra right in the middle of your rib cage then up to the heart chakra the throat chakra, the third eye chakra, and the crown chakra, where they spill out of your head and get carried back down through your auric field and then drawn up again through your feet, past your base, sacral, solar, heart, throat, third eye and crown and out of the top of your head, down your sidelines and back up again. We'll say this one more time. Through the root at the base of your spine, opening it up and the sacral just below your belly button, opening that up. Your solar plexus and your rib cage, opening that up your heart in the middle of your chest, opening that up, your throat, opening that up, your third eye, opening that up, and then finally, your crown. And now your chakras should be fully open and whirling. If you can't feel them whirling, just imagine. I'm turning them now for you. Five, six, and seven. And sending Reiki deep into them. But now, let us start the meditation and you may be wondering what these rings are. 
the one on my index finger is abalone shell, closely connected to the full moon energies and the sea. And labradorite is the blue one, which is protective for journeying. And then on this hand, oceanic jasper for grounding and peridot that has come straight out of the volcanic energies. So just settle yourself down. Settle yourself down and take a look at the altar we have here, a beautiful pyramid of rose quartz and a wonderful river mussel, which is my representation of the moon. And in the altar itself, we have a figurine of a goddess because today we are tapping into goddess energies in our meditation. So I'd like you to take a deep breath in for the ground below you, holding the air in your lungs for a little while, and then breathe out any annoyances and anxieties onto this black obsidian also made out of lava. <sighs> then another deep breath in for the skies above you, holding the air in your lungs for a little while. And then breathing out <sighs> any anxieties and worries into the stone. And then a last deep breath in for the seas surrounding these sacred isles we live on. Again, holding the air in your lungs for a little while. And then breathe out onto the stone. Any remaining worries and hurt things you wish to get rid of. And now I shall just pop this down on an amethyst bed to cleanse. And I want you now to imagine that you are being enveloped with a white mist. And you are walking through this mist. Feel the cool, damp sensation as it touches your face and hands. Keep walking, keep walking. And when the mist parts, you realize that you are in a beauty spot near you somewhere that you can see the open sky and somewhere that you hold in reverence. This could be a temple, a stone circle, a church, a beach, any place of beauty where you feel close to Mother Earth, to Gaia. Gaia is represented in this little altar. The Venus de Milo in all her shapes and sizes. The Divine Feminine. And I'd just like you to start walking 
towards this temple or this beauty spot and it is just getting dark the sun is setting in the west and as it sets in the east rises the full moon beautiful white and silver full moon and we shall use this stone as a representation it's very yellow when she rises and huge big and large and you feel her energy radiating onto you now you may have realized that this last week you've been very busy you may have even been manic you may have even been exhausted and exasperated by her energy this is quite normal la luna sheds her energy and brightens everything and swells all the water in our bodies she swells the oceans and she swells all of the things in our brain all the cells become big and full and voluptuous giving us increased energy I will just send you calming Reiki for that. Feel the cool calmness as you keep walking towards this precious place. Knowing that in your heart you are loved by the goddess, whether you are male you reach the boundary of this place it may be a fixed boundary marked or it may be that you just feel that you've got to the boundary just pause for a minute and ask the goddess to let you in and to bless you sense her permission and her love as you walk across this invisible or visible threshold to the place you have chosen to go to breathe out take your shoes off and leave them there and feel the earth or the ground whatever it is made of under your feet as you tread really becoming one with the earth and soon you notice that there is a figure up ahead of you she is seated and she is waiting for you and it is one of the world's goddesses it may be one who you have revered for a very long time or it may be someone completely new who is calling you there are many goddess energies Joan of Arc green white Tara Sarasvati 
Freya. Sachmet. Or the divine cosmic egg of woman in feminine energies who encompasses them all. Amaretsu, the Japanese goddess, and the white buffalo calf woman, Diana, Mary, Mary of Magdalene, or Mary of Nazareth, Kuan Yin, Shumanja, from Africa and the Caribbean, Saint Bridget or Bride, many, many. Lakshmi, these are but a few of her names and essences. Parvati, Kalima, Isis, Pope Joan. And Safa, many, many goddesses to choose from, but one has chosen to work with you tonight. And if I haven't named her, I am sorry, but there are so many goddess and f uh, amazing women. She takes your hand and she leads you over to her chair where she was seated and she sits you down for she tells you that you are a divine goddess or god in your own right she sits you down and she washes your feet an act of reverence to show you that you are beautiful, that you are important and that you are loved. And know this, that you are loved unconditionally by the goddess. And if you feel alone in your real life, she is with you and she loves you unconditionally and she nurtures you. Just feel her now, placing her hands on your shoulders, caressing your cheek gently. And just spend a few minutes now with this goddess energy, bringing you love, light, healing, comfort and know that you are one with her. She clears things from you and helps you to start again. what you think she is never angry with you we are human we all make mistakes and maybe she made mistakes in her incarnation and her legends forgiveness is the biggest key next to love and she always offers you this. All gods and goddesses, I believe, offer you this. She's just 
just going to clear something from your mind. If you have been struggling and thinking too much, let go of it now. Let go of it. Let go of it. Let me clear it from you. Clearing down your body. Peace, healing, tranquility. Security, forgiveness and love. Happiness, abundance and purity. And now she tells you to reach your hands out up to the moon, which you do together. And she tells you to draw the moon down. So you reach out and you bring that energy towards you. Do the same as me. And bring that energy right down your chakra line. And you reach out again and you bring the energy of the moon down through your crown, your third eye, your throat, your heart, your solar, your sacral and your base. And you do it one last time, bringing the energy of the full moon towards you to give your chakra line a wash, a full moon wash. And she now gives you a gift for the month ahead. If you are unsure of what this gift is, start to leave this place she waves and blows kisses to you like a mother sending her child off to school unconditional love and you tread your way back to where you left your shoes and you put them on and you start to leave this place and as 
you cross the boundary out of the sacred area. With each step, you re-root and you re-ground, feeling revitalized and energized for the month ahead. And grow those roots down consciously to re-ground the energy in. As I put my hands on your shoulders, and you head back into the mist. Feeling the cool, damp sensation on your skin again. Walk further into the mist with your gift and the love of your goddess. And then I would like you to feel the chair that you are sitting on. And I need you to close your chakras down. So I'm just going to reach out and put a stop sign over your crown, your third eye, your throat, your heart, your solar your sacral and your base, sending all excess energies down to Mother Earth for her healing. Step into a navy blue sleeping bag and zip it up over your head. Peace above you, below you and all around you. 